The spring season is right around the corner. What's the forecast for March, April, and May? I'm meteorologist Jason Myers, and we're coming out of a relatively mild winter for most of the country. December's temperature ranking was right near the middle, and January and February saw the beginning of a slow warming trend. And it appears those temperatures are going to stay on the warm end of things. The latest long-term forecast models show warmer than average air persisting and spreading into March, April, and May. The warmest air will start out across the south in March, spanning from the desert southwest all the way to the Carolinas on the other side of the country and everywhere in between. It'll still be a little chilly in the northern Rockies and everyone else is likely to see winter and spring fighting it out with temperatures going back and forth. Heading into April and May, however, that warm air initially stuck across the southern United States will begin to grow and expand, eventually covering the southwest, the plains, the southeast, the midwest, and the northeast. The colder air is completely gone and it's more of a back and forth fight in the northern Rockies and the Pacific Northwest. As for precipitation, the clearest pattern coming out of the spring season appears to be across the northern third of the country, covering the northwest, northern Rockies, northern plains, and the upper Midwest. Drier conditions are more likely to prevail in the southwest. Everywhere else, a seasonable spring with typical rainfall. With the warmer air moving into place a little sooner than normal, it's likely we'll continue to see severe weather outbreaks. This year's already proved deadlier than all of last year when it comes to tornadoes. Chances are the severe weather activity will be limited to the southeast initially, but as we get further into April and May, the severe weather threats will move into the plains and eventually the Midwest. And remember, spring is a transitional season, so even though these trends are pointing toward a warmer than average spring, we're still likely to have some back and forths with a few more cold spells left in us. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, head to our YouTube channel, subscribe, and while you're there, leave a comment letting me know your favorite thing about spring.